What do all of these terrains have in common? The height of each terrain is generated by a function that takes coordinates as an input and outputs a number that somehow changes smoothly as the input changes, resulting in a believable section of terrain. This can be done using a noise function, where the inputs are x and z coordinates while the output is the height of the terrain at that coordinate. One popular library for noise is the Fast Noise Library, which I downloaded and added to my game engine which I'm making for psychological research purposes. To start off, we make a new noise state and set the noise type to Perlin noise. We then use this noise state to get the output of the noise at a specific coordinate, and repeat this process for every x and z coordinate within an area to get the height for every point in that area. The result is a boring ocean of vomit. However, Fast Noise has an online tool where all these different noise settings can be experimented with for hopefully better terrain. One possible improvement is to enable fractal noise. This adds several layers of Perlin noise to each other to acquire detailed noise. More options are available for further experimentation, which transfers directly to code, making it easier to visualize what it looks like in-game. Unfortunately, noise by itself can't make convincing terrain, which is why we use math to make it look better. By raising the noise output to the power of 4, lower values are flattened while higher values are more extreme. This results in vast plains scattered with mountains. Another thing we could do is take the absolute value of the noise and flip the result by multiplying by negative 1, giving us mountain ranges instead of random peaks everywhere. Another possible way to generate mountains is Voronoi noise, also known as cellular noise, a noise function that scatters a bunch of seeds everywhere, while the output is determined by the distance from the input to the closest seed. Now this is where things get interesting. The inputs to our noise function are simply the x and z coordinates, but what if we took the output and added it to the inputs of another noise function to get the height? This technique is called domain warping, which is used to make rugged terrain. If we round the heights to the nearest 50, we get something similar to Minecraft's mesas. The problem is that it doesn't actually look like mesas because everything is grass. An easy way to fix this is to simply have the terrain be different blocks between certain Y levels. We could also have the appearance depend on the slope of the terrain. One way to find the slope at a certain point is calculus. The other way is to use the rise over run method to get a rough estimate of the slope by finding the difference between the heights at two close coordinates and dividing that by the distance between the coordinates. With this information, we can make it so that steeper areas are made of stone and flatter surfaces are made of grass. Everything I've covered so far is relatively surface level. At the next level, we have programmers making simulations of real-life erosion and training AI on real-life geography. To go even deeper, we must watch 50 minute long game developer lectures mentioning fractional Brownian motion and amplitude damping only for it to be called underwhelming by users of Lloyd relaxation and analytical derivatives. So this is where I'll stop.